Good morning again, everybody. It should be Friday, the 22nd. And today we're starting and finishing chapter 33 of Genesis. So we're going back to Jacob and Esau, um, which is coincidentally the name of the, the story, Jacob meets Esau. So before Jacob wrestled with God, he prepared to meet Esau. Esau was reported coming at him with 400 men. Um, after Jacob had sent all of the animals as a peace offering, pretty much. <clears throat> so he thinks that Esau is coming to, you know, get rid of him. So we continue with chapter 33. Jacob looked up, and there was Esau, coming with his 400 men. So he divided the children among Leah, Rachel, and the two female servants. He put the female servants and their children in front, Leah and her children next, and Rachel and Joseph in the rear. He himself went on ahead and bowed down to the ground seven times as he approached his brother. But Esau ran to meet Jacob and embraced him. He threw his arms around his neck and kissed him, and they wept. Then Esau looked up and saw the women and children. Who are these with you? he asked. Jacob answered, They are the children God has graciously given your servant. Then the female servants and their children approached and bowed down. Next Leah and her children came and bowed down. Last of all came Joseph and Rachel, and they too bowed down. Esau asked, What's the meaning of all these flocks and herds I met? To find favor in your eyes, my lord, he said. But Esau said, I already have plenty, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. No, please, said Jacob. If I have found favor in your eyes, accept this gift from me. For to see your face is like seeing the face of God, now that you have received me favorably. Please accept the present that was brought to you, for God has been gracious to me, and I have all I need. And because Jacob insisted, Esau accepted it. Then Esau said, Let us be on our way. I'll accompany you. But Jacob said to him, My Lord knows that the children are tender, and that I must care for the ewes and cows that are nursing their young. If they are driven hard just one day, all the animals will die. So let my Lord go on ahead of his servant, while I move along slowly at the pace of the flocks and herds before me, and the pace of the children, until I come to my Lord and Sayer. Esau said, Then let me leave some of my men with you. But why do that? Jacob asked. Just let me find favor in the eyes of my Lord. So that day Esau started on his way back to Seir. Jacob, however, went to Succoth, where he built a place for himself and made shelters for his livestock. That is why the place is called Succoth. After Jacob came from Padan Aram, he arrived safely at the city of Shechem in Canaan and camped within sight of the city. For a hundred pieces of silver he bought from the sons of Hamor, the father of Shechem, the plot of ground where he pitched his tent. There he set up an altar and called it El Elo Israel. So we find out that uh, he didn't... Oh, what is stuck to my bookmark? That's interesting. I wonder what that is. Um, Esau brought the 400 men to help accompany Jacob, not to kill him and, you know, beat him in a fight. So we find after all these years, Esau has forgiven Jacob for taking his birthright, his blessing, and the, the vengeance of wanting to kill has gone away. So, you know, there's a little interaction between the brothers. Um, Esau doesn't want to accept the gifts because he has plenty for himself. But Jacob insists. <clears throat> then Esau says that he'll accompany him. But Jacob, you know, says that I have to move at the pace of everybody in my party. So Esau says, well, then I'll leave some men with you. But then, you know, Jacob... Uh, Jacob just says, I just want to find favor in your eyes. Um, I don't need you to, you know, leave your men behind for me. So, anyway, uh, Esau started on his way back to Seir, and Jacob went to Succoth, which is S-U-K-K-O-T-H, as you write in the, in the reading. Uh, he builds a place for himself in the shelters, uh, for his livestock, and then he arrives safely at Shechem. And he bought, uh, he bought the plot of ground where he pitched his tent from Hamor, or the sons of Hamor. And, yeah, and he sets up an altar. And that's the, uh, the end of that reading summed up. So, we find that forgiveness has prevailed in the Esau versus Jacob story. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Leave your comments, questions, improvements, uh, negatives, positives, anything that you want to say about this so far. And uh, yeah, we will uh, see you again tomorrow morning.